Our company produces various games. Most recognized is our Arma series, which uh, tries to do the authentic military experience on the computer. And these games are used by many different military organizations uh, across the world. So in the United States, Australia, United Kingdom, Sweden, basically across all the NATO countries because they recognize this to be a very efficient method of training people. very difficult to make the difference between real footage and the footage that you can get from video games. So we are arguing that we have to get even closer to reality and we also have to include the rules of the law of armed conflict. There is no way that our people that are playing those games on a daily basis for a couple of hours every day cannot learn from, from that experience. They are repeating the same, the same actions. This is something that the military call the drill. That's the way you instill a reflex for people. And we know that our military also, when they are entertaining themselves, are also playing those games. So we are not just directing ourselves or addressing people that are civilians that are outside of the battlefield. We are addressing through those games, we are addressing the future combatants, the lawmakers, the decision makers, and also those people that are on the contemporary battlefields. When we were first approached by ICRC with the um, uh, offer to consult on international humanitarian law, my first thought was, wow, we'll learn something new we could put into game, we'll make it more authentic. We don't want to try to hide reality. We don't want to superficially prevent players from doing something. So it's possible, for example, accidentally hit civilian targets or friendly troopers. Uh, so there's no way around it. If you're in a conflict, it just may happen. So, but what we realized is some players just went to the game, took the gun and just fired at everything that moved. So we felt like this is just not right. And we introduced a simple yet very intuitive mechanism that if you do this and there are any friendly troops around you, they will attack yourself. Okay.